This week, the Kansas City Council could look at an often overlooked need. A new ordinance could require universal changing stations in new businesses. According to a recent report, 43.5 million Americans cared for an older adult or child with disabilities last year. Fox 4's Reagan Porter explains why so many see this as a life-changing first step. This is the reality many families with special needs face. Their children who have disabilities grow out of these small plastic changing tables meant to hold only 30 pounds. Hudson is 65 pounds now. Parents are forced to use the floor of public bathrooms. Leaving the house is really hard for special needs families. Dan Seitz cares for his 10 year old daughter Hudson who has special needs. He says they already feel isolated and this makes it that much harder to go out in public. It's not just a dirty floor, it's also a privacy situation it's it's just all over the board a horrible place a, a gas station would be my worst case scenario of course can you imagine doing that councilwoman heather hall is working to get a new ordinance passed in kansas city missouri to lift their mind body and spirit it involves future businesses and these universal changing stations it is not only unsafe unsanitary we need to treat people with dignity and that does not do it if we cannot give them a way to be changed in an appropriate manner these universal changing stations have already been installed in places like here at the kansas city zoo and the kaufman center for performing arts this ordinance would require all family restrooms being constructed in kansas city Missouri to have one from grocery stores to restaurants. It is life changing. Sykes says if he's not lifting Hudson from wheelchair to floor and floor to wheelchair twice a week, they're taking a trip to the van. My wife and I had to basically buy an $80,000 van so that we could have a place to change her. This one more piece would make it easier to mark everyday tasks off the to-do list. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you. Many families, including the sites, plan to show their support tomorrow at City Hall. If the Neighborhood and Planning Committee sends the ordinance to the full council tomorrow, it could get a full council vote as early as Thursday.